Hello, my beautiful darling loves. Welcome to your love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Leo only channel. Cross watchers are welcome. If you would like to view other sign placements, you could visit my main channel, Tarot of Light. The link is below. I do have a Virgo and Leo only channel. No, a Virgo and Cancer only channel. Um, the links to those are below. Okay, uh, readings can be vice versa, flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post. If you're interested in learning how to read tarot or start a tarot channel, you can check out my tarot tutorial. The link is below. Um, if you would like to book a reading, the link is below. And if you would like to... Um, Check out my tarot and oracle decks. We've got Spirit Shield Tarot and Oracle, which is buy one, get one free right now. And then we've got Royal Rose Tarot, which is currently 20% off, okay? All right, let's get popping here and let's see. Oh, hold on one second, guys. Okay, I'm so sorry about that, guys. All right, let's see what we have here. Spirit, tell me about Leo, please. Tell me about my little lion cubs, please. What do we have here today for Leo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus? Leo, please. We've got longing. We've got loyalty. Breaking point. Leo, I feel like you have reached your final limit with someone here. I feel like you're you're just tired of this person. You're withdrawn. I feel like for many of you, you would rather be alone. I feel like many of you have made your peace with just being single. Okay? And I feel like this is very unexpected for the person that we're talking about here. They weren't expecting that from you to ever really just pull back your energy. Okay, and now I feel like this is somebody that is sitting in ego and they're being a little stubborn because this person is missing being the center. Freya, what are you growling at? She's got some serious beef with the squirrels outside, Leo. I don't know what to tell you. Um, okay, so we've got longing and we've got loyalty here. So Leo, you know, when you were with this person, I think they were like the center of your world. They could rely on you. You believed in this person. They can trust you with things. You were loyal to this person. Do you understand? And it's like their ego cannot handle being that the, the, they're not the center of your world anymore. Do you understand? This person wants you to be loyal to them. They want your love back. Do you understand? They want your love back. But you're seeing this person as karmic. You're seeing this person as a mistake. You're seeing this person that leaves you trapped in confusion while you're sitting here 100% committed to them. Um, you're seeing this person as it's very one-sided. Like this person wants you to give this your all. Meanwhile, they don't give anything back. Do you understand? Leo, I see you sitting in a very peaceful energy where you are, you've reached a point where you just want to be single. Even if you feel lonely from time to time, you'll deal with it. You just, you have hit, if you've reached your final straw here and you just want to be left alone. You just want to be left alone. Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. We've got the emperor and we have the page of swords. We could be deal dealing with an Aries or a Taurus. Leo, even if you're a girl or a woman, I see that you might be sitting in your masculine energy. Like this person is seeing that you're not playing. You could have been dealing with a very selfish individual, a very greedy individual, someone here that didn't want to commit, someone here that didn't want to let go of third party energies or they didn't want to let go of a player lifestyle. Do you understand? They just didn't want to let go of this lifestyle. Tell me about Leo, please. We have the Sun card and the Ten of Swords. They're seeing here that they've taken it too far. This person has pushed you way too far and you're really done with the Ten of Swords. You just can't do it anymore. It's just too much chaos for you with the Five of Wands. Too much 
fighting, you know, for respect, fighting for love, fighting for loyalty, constantly living in fear and insecurity and anxiety with the Six of Swords, you just have to get away from it, Leo. You just have to get away from it. And I feel like with the Three of Cups and the Five of Pentacles, Leo, this person's dying. They they feel like they've lost you for good and, and they're really scared that you're not coming back this time. They want to reconcile. They want to reconcile. Tell me about Leo. Eight of Swords in the reverse and the Three of Wands. I feel like you, you've mentally released this person. If they had you trauma bonded or all messed up in the head over this connection, you have made the final decision to release it for your own peace, for your own mental, physical, emotional, and spiritual health. You have decided to look forward into your future and what you're seeing there is you being alone. I feel like with the Page of Cups here and the Nine of Pentacles, I feel like you're willing to be friends with somebody. You might be willing to have maybe like a companion or maybe, maybe even a friends with benefits, but I feel like you're okay with your friends or your family that you have around you and you're just okay with being alone. You are just okay with being alone. Tell me about Leo, please. Money may be looking really good for you, Leo. We have the Two of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. This person could be thinking that you've chosen to invest your time and energy into somebody else. What they don't know here with the Four of Swords and Temperance is you're chilling. Some of you are just cozied up on the couch by the fire. Um, you know, maybe some of you are going out to the mountains, renting a cabin. I, I feel like your energy is so peaceful, Leo. If you don't feel that way now, you're going to be coming into that energy. Your cutoff game is nothing to play with in this reading. <clears throat> it's like you go from being in complete and utter turmoil over this person to saying, I'm letting it go. I'm letting it go. I am not going to have another thought about this person. I'm not going to just nothing. I'm just letting it go because I need my peace. What's that song? I'm going to let you go. You, because I need my peace. You do you and I'm going to do me. I don't, I'm, I'm tone deaf. Okay. Don't, don't judge me. But you, I don't know if you've ever heard that song before, but that's kind of like what I'm getting. Like I need, I need my peace. I got to let this go because I can't, you know what I'm saying? My peace is precious and I cannot do this. Leo, you're so adamant about just like blocking this person, not talking to this person. You're so disinterested that they are in fact worried that there's someone else in the picture. But I don't think as of yet there is. I'm seeing a page of cups around you. So I'm seeing this could be friends, family members, people that love you or care about you. But it's like, you know, you're not really, I don't think you're really interested in dating i think that with the uh tower here the eight of pentacles and the six of wands and the ace of pentacles leo some of you could and the three of pentacles some of you could be starting a business leo or maybe moving somewhere there's going to be some type of sudden change for you in the workplace or with your house or something six of wands the ace of pentacles and the three of pentacles you're about to open a business or do something where your finances are going to be insane okay all right, let's see here. Tell me about the emperor. I do want to take note, though. I do want to take note, though, that uh, we have the emperor and the empress here, okay? Um, we've got the knight of cups. So this is someone that is coming in with an apology. With the page of swords and the wheel of fortune here, Leo, and the world card, this person is quickly realizing that things are not the way they used to be. And guess what, Leo, with that world card, they're never going back to the way they used to be. Tables are turning on this person. Okay, tables are turning on this person because Leo, they had something amazing and they should have put a ring on it. They should have, <laughs> they should have put a ring on it, you know, and instead they chose to give to other people. They chose to ignore you, breadcrumb you, give their time and energy to others because they were selfish and it was going to be their way or the highway. And I feel like you weren't having that anymore. 
You know what I'm saying? You said, I am too good of a person for this. I'm loving, I'm loyal, I'm kind, I'm stable, I make good money, I, I don't. I just don't deserve this. And with the Two of Swords and the Three of Swords, you, you know, the bottom line here is, Leo, what we allow is what will continue. Do you understand what I'm saying? You know, it gets to a certain point in a relationship where it's no longer the person's fault. Do you understand what I'm saying? It gets to the point where it's no longer your person's fault. Eventually, at some point, you have to take responsibility and say, the reason why this keeps happening to me, the reason why I keep being hurt is because I'm allowing this shit. Do you understand? They do it once, okay. They do it twice, okay. But anything like third times or more, it, that is now your responsibility because you're the one staying with someone that you know doesn't love or respect you. And that's the point that you're at right now, Leo. I feel like you're accepting responsibility for your pain and saying, listen, the only way that this is going to stop for me is if I put up my two swords and I block this person out of my life. And that's it. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Leo, this is a lot of pain. Okay, this is the Ten of Swords is not a joke. Queen of Wands in the reverse. This person had you acting cra crazy. This person, you know, so two things here with this Queen of Wands in the reverse. This person had you operating in your absolute lowest vibration. You know, tit for tat energy. Um, you know, just, just very like... Um, how do I want to put it? They, they just had you angry, like in this need to want to control when maybe you're not really a controlling person, but it was like now all of a sudden it's like, let me see your phone. Let me see this. Let me see that. But you're, you're asking these questions because you're feeling unsafe. Do you understand? Queen of Wands in the reverse could also be very promiscuous. So this person may have even had you sitting in an energy of like revenge cheating or like, fine, you're going to do this. Well, I'm going to do this and you're going to do this and I'm going to do that. And it was too much tip for tap back and forth. And Leo, from what I'm seeing here, what you're truly seeking is peace and quiet. So this is too much baby games. This is too much high school drama. Do you understand? Now, another thing that I'm seeing here, Leo, is that this person took an empress and put them in competition with low vibe, put you in competition with low vibrational energies. Queen of Wands in the reverse is like the type of third party that will, you know, hit you up and say, hey, I just want to let you know your man is over here with me right now. Like the, the, the type of third party energies that like to throw it in your face and take joy in your pain that your person is cheating or that your person gave them attention. Do you understand? And I feel Feel like if that did happen to you Leo that was the final straw it was the final straw I feel like Leo you hung on to this connection for as long as you could because you may have felt uh, that this was your divine counterpart you may have felt like this was a soulmate maybe you were living with this person you know you really tried to make it work but with the six of swords if you were living with this person you moved out or with the ace of swords and the two of swords here Leo you came to the realization that this is my responsibility and I need to get the hell away from this and now Leo with the two of cups the three of cups and the six of cups they're back they're back because I, I feel like energetically leo this person senses that with the strength card the five of pentacles and the eight of cups not only have you left but you're not coming back you are not coming back okay i keep seeing the ace of cups and the seven of cups here and the king of wands so Leo, going out and pursuing other options is obviously an option for you. You know, you're good looking, you're charismatic, you know, you're a catch, right? Okay. But I don't think that you want to because you know that you've already met the one. You know this person was the one. You know in your heart they were your divine counterpart. So with the full card and the nine of wands, you're not really interested in pursuing anybody else. You're not. Um... I feel like you're just hurt and disappointed that this person doesn't feel the same way. So all you want to do, I think here is heal. And with the Justice card and the Ten of Pentacles, focus on what works for you. And what works for you is devoting your time and energy into your money, building your account, because those are things that you have control over. You see what I'm saying? Tell me about the Eight of Swords in the reverse and the Ten of Cups. I feel like, Leo, you gave up on the idea of love. You gave up on the idea of having long term with somebody. 
because I think you kind of felt like I know that this was meant to be my person. Uh, they, for some reason, don't feel the same way. So I'm going to let it go and just stop focusing on love. You release yourself from, you know, many times, Leo, we are in love with the vision of the future that we're meant to have with somebody. Do you understand? And you released it. You just released it. You see what I'm saying? Tell me about the Three of Wands and the Tower. I feel like your entire vision for your future has changed. Okay? And I feel like what you see right now is you see yourself just being alone. Do you understand what I'm saying? Leo, with this Ace of Cups here, the Seven of Cups and the Page of Cups, there's going to be a lot of people flirting with you. A lot of people want to date you. They do. Okay? You're, you know, you're, you're... You're a Leo for crying out loud. You know what I'm saying? You're you're single. You're abundant. You're financially stable. You're handsome. You're gorgeous. You stand out. You know, a lot of people are going to come towards you, but you are never going to forget this emperor energy. Do you understand? Um, seven of pentacles here and the ten of pentacles. Yeah, you're, you're, I feel like right now you're investing your time and energy in things that you know are worth your time and energy. Do you understand? And with the two of wands and the four of cups, you're also kind of sitting in an energy of, I don't really want anyone else. You know, if you want to be platonic friends, king of swords and the page of pentacles, that's cool. But you know, I'm not looking for sex and I'm not looking for commitment with anybody. Tell me about the four of swords here. And the seven of wands in the reverse. I feel like, you know, you stopped trying to figure out how to overcome the obstacles with this person and just let it go. And just let it go. I feel like you've tried to understand this person. You've tried to communicate with this person. You've tried to love this person. You've tried to drum through hoops with this person. And you're realizing that there's only one option left. And that option is choosing your peace, Leo, choosing yourself and choosing your own healing. Okay. And I feel like when you do this with the Ace of Pentacles, something really big comes in for you. And I feel like that's this person offering you the commitment that you've been wanting, but now you're also extremely disconnected and maybe even used to being alone. And I don't know if you want to take it. Okay, I don't know if you want to take it. So let's take it into the extended and let's see. We're going to do two readings. Let's do one of if you should accept this offer, what does the future hold between you and this person? You know, are they going to change? Are they going to ever cheat on you again or hurt you or you understand? And the second uh, reading is going to be for if you walk away. Will you regret walking away? Will you meet someone new? Will you be alone forever? Will you finally heal from this and find love? Okay, so we're going to do two separate readings in the extended. I love you guys so very much. I hope that you enjoyed and the link for the extended is in the description box below and in the comment section below. I love you and I'll see you there.